Aries, welcome into this reading. We have got a lot of big energies that we are dealing with in this reading for the month of April. And there's a lot of things that we're going to have to get through. But remember, if you've been here before in my readings, you know I allow you to kind of like participate in the reading and even play a little bit of a, a game with your own spiritual team. Um, I do allow your spiritual team to choose the decks that they want to work with. So I use a pendulum, I lay out my decks on the table, or a few of them, and they will choose three different decks. But you are also going to choose the three different decks. And we are going to see how many of the decks that you have chosen is matching with those of your spirit guides. People are getting two out of three, three out of three. I mean, it is amazing. And not just one, this is happening every time they come into my readings. So it's a little game that we play. You guys are so connected to your spiritual team, so connected to the spiritual realm already, which is the one where creation is being formed before we see it in our reality, see it in our world. If you are this connected, you can do absolutely anything. Let's get into the choosing part of your reading. Aries, welcome into the selection part of the reading. This is where you are going to participate together with your spirit guides. Your spirit guides are going to be using a pendulum to choose three different decks, but you are also going to choose three different decks. Um, you're going to literally trust your intuition. You are going to get into a place of quiet and stillness, and you're going to choose three decks. And you're going to see how many of the decks that you have chosen is going to be matching with your spirit guides. Many people do choose three out of three, three and not once, but many, many times. So before we begin, let's take one deep breath in, hold it, and release the breath. Another deep breath in, at the top of your breath, know that you are connected to all that is and all that you are, release. The third deep breath in, your spirit guides and you are aligned, you are connected already, and you just have to open the connection to them. Release the breath. Now choose your three decks. We have got the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. We've got the Fairy Oracle. We've got Ancestors and Angel Oracle deck. Angel Answers, Spirit Guide Oracle, Sacred Traveler Oracle, and Angel Tarot deck. It is a tarot deck, but it's quite, it's very in-depth, so you can use it as an Oracle deck as well. So let's get in here. The first deck for my Aries out there, which is a very big month for Aries at this time. So you guys, I'm really curious what energies will come through for you in your reading, what will be chosen and what the messages are. You've got a very huge month, month taking place here. So let me see. We have got the Sacred Traveler Oracle. This is about your direction and where you are going. There is some fated energies coming in for you. I will tell you because of all the events taking place in your sign in the month of April. So let's have a look and see the second deck for my Aries. And remember, because of the solar eclipse that I'm going to be talking about, it is going to affect your life in the next 12 months. So anytime after the release of this video, 12 months, you are able to watch this and gather information from it and see what is going to be happening. Happening. So we've got an interesting vibe. We've got the Fairy Oracle for you. We've got Sacred Traveler Oracle and the Fairy Oracle. Let's have a look and see the last card for my Aries out there. Which direction do we need to be going in and what information needs to be heard at this moment in time? So let's get in here and have a look and see. Okay, we've got the Spirit Animal Oracle. Actually, really a nice combination to have the Fairy Oracle together with the Spirit Animal Oracle because these two energies often work with each other. So let's get into your reading and find out what information, what big shifts are happening for you in your world. There we go, Aries. We are back in the reading. We have got Sacred Traveler Oracle. We've got the Fairy Oracle. And we've got Spirit Animal Oracle. I know I said Spirit Guide Oracle somewhere in there, but it is Spirit Guide, Spirit Animal Oracle. Now, how many, did, how many did you get right? A lot of people are going, I'm getting three out of three almost every reading, Deborah. My mind is absolutely blown, but I'm not surprised because I know the kind of energy that will get attracted to a channel like mine. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on in April. Aries, this is a very big month for you. You have got a solar eclipse coming in um, in April on the 20th that is coinciding with a new moon in your zodiac sign. Can you just imagine how powerful this, this is? But this is not even going further because you've got Jupiter moving into the sun sign. So we've got um, 
a planet that is one of the biggest planets, okay, moving into your sun sign, which has not been in the Jupiter hasn't been in the sun um, in 28 years. We have not had a solar eclipse in Aries in 18 years. And we've got this coinciding with new moon in Aries. But this is not all. This is the second new moon to happen in your sign. <laughs> okay. We had a new moon on the 21st of March and that's in Aries. We've got another new moon in Aries on the 20th of March. It's called a blue moon. So that means it's either two full moons or two new moons happening at one specific moment. It is very rare. Okay. Events are going to be taking place for you that are really going to change your life completely. I feel like for a lot of Aries out there, there's going to be a period of about a year or two. I really feel like it's going to be about a year or two where you're going to have a complete different existence. And I'm not even joking with you because we've got the two biggest um, solar uh, 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 bodies, which is the sun and Jupiter, showing up in your sign at the same time. You've got two new moon energies happening in your sign. There is new energies coming in here. There could be two areas of your life that are going to be very different. For some of you, you could be changing your careers. You could be wel welcoming a family member. You could be getting married. You could be starting a business. You could be relocating to a foreign land. It's complete changes that take place in your energy. I am so curious to see really the cards that are going to be coming out here so that we can have more of an idea for um, to see what is going on. Is there anything that I've missed? missed? Um, we've got full moon in Libra on the 6th of... You see what's going on in your, in your zodiac sign. Wow. Full moon in Libra on the 6th of April. And the full moon in Libra, I feel like what is it going to bring to light? And for me, I feel like because we're going through these changes where you are kind of like moving from one way of being into another, I almost feel as if you're going to be looking a lot at your life and looking at how you feel about certain things, looking at how even your own behavior, looking at what you need to take with you, what you don't need anymore, what's working for you, what's not working for you. So you may even be looking at uh, people surrounding you. Are they good for you or not good for you? You may be looking at your own behavior. Um, am I eating healthily? Is it good what I'm doing? Am I taking care of myself? Is um, what I do in the day maybe you know, where I put my attention, maybe I spend too much time on the phone, or I'm doing something that's no longer going to work for me anymore. Some of you guys may decide to stop drinking, stop smoking, you know, all those kinds of things, because you're kind of like feeling this new reality that is calling you, coming in, and you would like to actually um, move into it. I feel like a lot of you may be feeling this kind of calling already, like a new beginning. Yes, a new beginning. <laughs> uh, that card flipped in my hand. And we have got the first light, the beginning of a new cycle. Yes, this is it. Um, you do have new beginnings coming in here. You see, I love it when the readings do this. You have definitely got new beginnings coming in here. I'm also going to be taking out Moonology as well with every Oracle card that I take out. And then when I take out the tarot, I will show you guys what it looks like on the table. You definitely have this. Um, I, it's, it cannot be. It cannot be anything but this. It has to be this. It has to be this. Because of everything that is happening astrologically in your sign. Um, you've got a complete life coming in here. That is going to be very different from where you are going. Um, I'm very curious to see what's going to come out from these two oracle cards. Yeah, I'm very, very curious. Because the, the fairy oracle is quite specific. Okay, so I'm curious to see what part of your world is going to be affected here. So let's get into this and have a look and see what is happening here with you. So we got, all right, hope. Oh my, hmm. you're going to see signs of changes with the hope energy. So you're going to be seeing signs of changes, of things that are going to be shifting in your world. And I think it's going to give you this energy of, whoa, where can I still go? And I feel dreams coming in here. Hopes and dreams. I feel maybe, you know, she's looking up. She's looking up at 
at this rainbow and this peace love flying past there so i feel like the rainbow is got to do with a lot of energy of balance coming in your world the rainbow is represented by <coughs> excuse me guys my chest by um the chakra system and when we see a rainbow it means very high vibrational energy because a lot of things inside of you with regards to every every area of your life is coming into alignment you're going to find a lot of peace here We've got hope is always there, even if you cannot see it. Okay, even at the time of this reading, optim optimistic expectations can help you change a negative situation into a positive one. So all you need to know right now at the time of this reading is that you are moving into a new cycle. There is no other way. <laughs> there is no other way. All areas are going to be moving into the cycle. It's going to be affecting your life and your world in very different ways so everybody's going to have it in a very different way everybody's going to be affected in a very different way but when you look back in a year or two from now literally it's going to take some time to unfold but when you look back you are literally going to look back at your life and go so much has changed oh my goodness and i feel like that the way that she's standing there and kind of like looking up at the sky i feel like maybe dream bigger dream bigger Wow, they're literally asking you to be very, very patient, okay? Because they, they do understand, I've got a long hair of a cat on my arm, the flamingo spirit coming in here. And it is asking you to embrace the in-between. And now I see why they have put up the, the hope card together with this. So the events that are going to be taking place, I feel like because of the energy that I'm picking up on, maybe with the in-between here, you've been waiting for this for a while you've been waiting for this for a while it's you going i really need this deborah i really need this new cycle i got to get out of where i am i got to get out of maybe a situation that i'm in i also feel like around about the 6th of april you might be having some clarity that comes in here or something will be revealed or there'll be an understanding that you get um that's going to be a part of leading you on here leading you to where you need to be while you're waiting in the in between waiting for the first light you have to embrace this energy i feel like this is a very powerful time because this is you know the pause energy of waiting for the new cycle it's very hard because you're like every day when is it when am i going to see the when am i when am i going to see it you need to have that faith and that hope there, it's interesting because there could be some fated events coming in for you we also got saturn um coming back into it been born again literally um after 28 years so you've got two big massive ga gas giants moving around in your zodiac sign you've got the sun as well and we've got this energy of the saturn coming in and saturn can sometimes be a little bit weird it can be attached to things like um a, a little bit of a heavier energy it can be attached to things like um needing to deal with things needing to see things clearly but it is also attached to fate and destiny so there could be a lot of things coming in for you here. And maybe this is what is making you restless. The fact that you feel things, that you feel it, something coming in, but you're not seeing it. Things are going to be unfolding for you specifically at specific times. And I feel like for every single Aries will be in their own specific time, their own specific date, where events are going to begin to unfold for you. While you are waiting for these moments to come, use it. Because this is where you need to get your focus really focused. Dream here. This is where you need to dream and dream big. Because you've got a very, very lucky cycle that you are in here. It is very rare to experience this. So you're out of all the zodiac signs, you are the one having it. And we're going to be having massive eclipses that are going to be taking place over the next two years. And that's why it's like fuel in the fire um, to push these changes along. So, <coughs> excuse me. While you are waiting for this to take place, really, you're reading, really, really focus on what it is you'd like to see with regards to that rainbow energy there. But make sure it's, you don't even dream small, dream big, because you've got the power behind you at the time to be able to create that. And the card that aligns, okay, with the, the new, the new cycle coming in is like a new moon eclipse okay we have a solar eclipse but um we could be looking at the the new moon that is going to take place on the solar eclipse massive changes coming in here for you unbelievable um literally it's a solar eclipse happening on a new moon in aries and it says here expect 
powerful change. So what is going on with you here? It's something big. This is big. That's why I kept, I kept feeling like dream bigger because there is going to be powerful changes that take place in your world. Do not sit back and kind of go, okay, I, uh, I'll just be happy to have. If only I can only have this. If only I can earn that amount of money. Dream. Go bigger than that. What would you really like to see? What would you really like to be experiencing and open up yourself to that kind of energy? Because you're literally in the, the flow of energy that can, that can allow to be given to you. So let's see what aligns with the hope. <laughs> let's have a look and see with the moonology. Confidence is the key to your success. <laughs> what was I just saying? Confidence. Dream bigger. Dream bigger. Ask for more. Don't even ask for more. Tell yourself that you go, you have more. Where you are going, it is beyond your wildest imagination. It's beyond your wildest dreams. You might be having a huge influx of money coming into your life. Where you are now, in a year from now, in two years from now, you look back, you're literally going to go, whoa, my income has tripled. My income has doubled. Or I believe this got tripled. It can triple. It can. And I cannot believe that this is happening. That's why you need to have confidence. Dream bigger than where you are now. Have that hope that no matter what your circumstances are in this moment, um, it can 100% change. And not only just get a bit better, but it can get better to the point of like, is this my life? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see what else comes up back here. A win-win forecast it is, is, and it's Libra. So we do have a new moon in Libra that is taking place. Let me make sure I'm all right. Yes. No, you got the six is the full moon in Libra. And there it is. Full moon in Libra. Like your reading is un... I was wanted to be sure because I'm thinking, am I imagining things here? We have got a full moon in Libra happening on the 20th of April, which is a new moon in Aries. No, which is, a new, which is a new moon. Do we have a new moon? Wait, wait, I'm going to check you now. Six is the full moon. There's a new moon in Aries, which is bringing in a new cycle. There's so many signs in this reading. Full moon on the six, which allows you to have this win-win outcome. We've got this new moon in Aries on a solar eclipse, and it literally says new moon eclipse. There is so many signs in this reading. I'm blown away. Like, I just can't believe it, to be honest. Really blown, blown away. While you are waiting for this to come in, please embrace the in-between. Embrace this moment knowing in your heart that this cycle is coming in, which is going to be so powerful. Whatever you really focus on at this moment will become reality. So make sure you focus on it being grand, being luxurious, being all that you wish it to be, and not just to be okay. Don't go, you know, a lot of people will manifest, I just want to be okay in life. I want to be fantastic in life. I want to be more than okay. Go there. Okay, so let's get into the tarot part of the reading. I'm going to change the camera around so that you guys can see how absolutely beautiful the tarot cards look. So let's get into it. We have got the new beginnings coming in here. First light with powerful new beginnings with this new moon in eclipse that's happening. Then we've got the hope card. So this is my card. I feel like the hope card is the dream bigger card. And we've got confidence is the key to your success. Meaning dream bigger. Have hope that more can come into your life. And then this pause energy that comes up here with a flamingo spirit. Embrace that in-between energy because it is going to turn out in your favor with the full moon in Libra which is literally happening on the 6th can you believe it and the new moon eclipse which is actually a solar eclipse is happening on the 20th in Aries mind blown so it is going to turn out in your favor things will happen the way that you want it to so don't feel like things are out of alignment things are not the how you want it to be because in fact everything is turning out the way it's meant to be you know I just as I was shuffling one of my cards was the other way around and I'm like wondering how did that happen but it's a ten of pentacles as I was shuffling one of my cards is reversed I feel like I should put it I feel like I should put it there um this is money it's a lot of money I mean I saw it 
um, whenever I get told by my spirit guides, I always say, if you see a tarot card, um, please do not ignore that you saw the card. And I did see it. So Ten of Pentacles, that is how big you can dream. Ten of Pentacles talks about reaching some kind of height where you are literally um, at the top of your game or you are literally receiving what it is you want to receive, but in a very, very big way with that Ten of Pentacles coming in there. So let's have a look and see what else will come in here for you. I'm really curious to see the new beginnings because there is two new moons. So I would see, like to see how that's going to affect you. The Queen of Earth. Wow, together with the Ten of Earth, this is such a beautiful energy. I feel as if the Queen of Earth lives in the Ten of Earth, which is Pentacles. I feel like, I always feel that. I always feel as if the Queen lives there. That would be her home, basically. We've got the Page of Water. Okay, so we've got stability. We've got money coming in here, but there's also something with regards to emotion with the Page of Cups. The King of Earth, King and Queen of Earth. Whoa, this is massive abundance coming in here. What else do we have? The two of earth. There we're going now to this energy of the in-between, to the win-win outcome is forecast with the two of earth energy. This is currently now your energy, okay? Embrace, embrace. Let me move some of these crystals. Let's see what comes in here. The nine of earth. Your reading is mind-blowing. Do you know what I'm going to do for you guys? Whoa. I am going to take a tiger's eye, which is an energy of abundance and money, and I'm going to put it here on the queen of, on the nine of earth, okay? Then I'm going to take a citrine, which is a lot of money flow as well. It's also used for a uh, third eye. Um, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to push some energy for you, okay? So let's see what else will come in here for you. The eight of water, and there it is. There's a big change. There it is, walking away from a lot of different things in your world here. What else do we have? Strength card coming in. Beautiful, coming up with the confidence. Oh, your reading is unbelievable. Let's see what else comes in here for you, Aries. The Ten of Fire. Oh, I love it so much. Leaving behind some stuff here. I can see this energy shifting right over there. Let's see what's going on. Magician. There's my stalker card for all these readings. Every one of the card readings I've done with regards to this solar eclipse has got a magician card in it. So it's quite mind-blowing, actually. Let's see what else comes in here. Nine, the six of air moving into a much better place. This is what we want to see. That is what we are looking for. This is good. This is the win-win outcome is forecast. There is a problem. Okay, first of all, this whole row here has got to do with some kind of situation that you are currently facing in your life. This is a problem that you're currently holding. It's going to be removed from you, okay? And we've got five of water, yeah. So we've got two little aspects that we're dealing with here in your reading. There is two energies that is coming in for you here. I'm curious to see, as I go in, usually as I go into the reading more in depth, Spirit Guide will start to talk about specific cards more. So we're going to go in here and look into this. But I can see this page of water has got to do with this. So this can have got something to do with how you are feeling with regards to these events happening and it makes you feel in a certain way but it's going to adjust from this feeling into that one so let's get into the reading the deeper part of it so the first thing that i notice in your reading here and um, the whole first row of the reading if you go back to the video and you look at what came out in the first row so we are dealing, there's your good luck, Citrine. We are dealing with the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? Then we've got Queen of Pentacles, okay? Page of Water. So a little bit attached to your emotion there. King of Pentacles. I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. We've got the Two of Pentacles, which I feel like now, this is where we're having a little bit of an issue in your world at this moment. In your good luck, Tiger's Eye. <laughs> Let's put it over there. We've got Nine of Pentacles. So there is a lot of Pentacle energy in that first row there. And I, I mean, literally all the cards are Pentacles. So I feel like a lot of what you're dealing with right now in your current energy is this two of pentacles now i want to go and i want to start there first of all because you're moving into what you need to go through while you are waiting for this page of water to enter into your existence so this is why they are asking you it is embrace the in between 
while you are waiting for that page of caps to come in, for the other changes, which also includes the Six of Earth to be shown to you, you need to start working on what it is you would like to have in your life. Meaning, dream really big. Because you've got big energy coming in here. Um, I feel like whatever you're dreaming, here you can go further. You can go a bit bigger than that, maybe way bigger. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid to hope for more. <laughs> you know? Don't be afraid to feel like you deserve more. You deserve whatever you can think of. Why not? Um... Because this is what you need to know. While you are not seeing this powerful new cycle entering into your life. While you are waiting to see this enter. And I'm telling you, it will enter. This is written in the stars. It's coming up in your tarot cards as well. Aligning with what is coming in the ast astrology. Just know that it's going to be good with this win-win outcome is forecast. Because... Right now, you got this problem. Two of Pentacles coming up here is you trying to balance the bills, trying to think how are you going to be able to accomplish certain things with the amount of money that you currently have. Um, you may be having a lot of debt, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of um, hope as well that things in the future will be okay, that the responsibility that you have, I'm just picturing somebody having a child, you know, and you have this child with you now and you have a baby and you, in your mind, you're thinking to yourself, like, well, you have a small child. How am I going to pay for school fees for this child? How am I going to pay for university? How am I going to have all this money needed to do this? Where am I going to get it from? That kind of feeling. Or you know that in the future you need to buy yourself a home. You're getting older. You need to settle down. Or you need a new car. You need to get this fixed. You need to do that. Where am I going to get this from? And you kind of keep on going, I hope it's going to be okay. I hope it's going to be okay. It's going to be more than okay. All right. Little things that you are currently worrying about in this Two of Pentacles, it's going to be like a breeze for you in the future. Above the Two of Pentacles is the Six of Swords. This is you moving away from that towards a place where you really, really want to be. It's attached to the dove that we see over there, okay? The dove over there, it is attached to the dove energy, being a lot less stressed, being a lot less worried about these certain things that you cannot manage to do. Like, I'm trying to get this right. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. You move into a very smooth time in your life where things are going to be flowing much more easier. Um <clears throat> A lot of strength coming. What I'm going to look at here is I'm jumping around because of how this is. Okay. So first of all, all of the stress that you are carrying um, is causing an emotional sort of problem in your world. I feel disappointment in this card because of things that didn't want to go the way you wanted it to go. Uh, I'm hearing Spirit Guide saying the weight of what you need to carry. And it's been a while now, so it feels heavy. And you just feel like... You can have just this moment where oh, you can breathe, you know, and it's coming onto you a lot. And I feel disappointment there and frustration and like just overall life disappointment. Like this is not what I expected my life to be like. I thought it would be something else. And you did think it would be something else because it's going to be something else. Okay. You're experiencing one stage of your life, not the actual story it's one chapter that you're in that is about to be closed and you're about to enter into a new chapter this chapter okay brings up this feeling inside of you almost like a childlike energy with a page of cups coming in here where you got hope again there's your hope right there so beautiful you're reading oh aries there's your hope right there there's the hope and it gives you hope about what you can still accomplish in the future this is going to happen when this takes place, wait, when this takes place, this is you changing something here. It is either going to be you. First of all, I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing from Spirit Guide, which is interesting. This is actually going to happen before you, you get here. Hmm. This is going to happen in you. This is you. And I feel like you are that, that new moon in Libra, which is all about the balance that is uh, sorry, the full moon in Libra on the 6th of April. It's all about the finding the balance. 
And what is going to be revealed to you is you're looking at your life kind of going, what works for me and what is not working for me? I almost feel like you might go through a little bit of a purge energy into what you're focusing on, into what is good for you, what is not good for you. And I feel this inspiration coming over you because I'm feeling it in my uh, coming up uh, from my, my underneath my heart chakra going right up of this magician energy. And it's almost like you're going, I want to recreate myself. Oh, yes. Oh, recreate yourself. Please do. Go right ahead. You must recreate yourself. You must. Because this is how you get it right. When you begin to recreate who you are, the things about yourself that you feel like, that's not working for me. Um, this is what I need to change. You know, those little things that we change. Even if you start saying to yourself, hey, um, <clears throat> I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to cut out alcohol. I don't drink at all. You know, I drink maybe once a year or when it's like whatever. And usually my, my family will be like, hey, we're bringing this for a celebration. And I'm like, yay. But I don't have it like every month or whatever. I don't drink at all. There's no drink in my house. It will literally get thrown away. Um, I don't smoke. I don't drink because it affects my energy to be able to do these readings. So I don't do that. And um, any kind of smoking. If you want to read tarot cards, you can't be doing any kind of smoking drinking i'll be behind i don't know everybody else can do what they want but that's how i feel it to be you cannot be under the radar you have to be above the radar same with manifestation to manifest you have to be conscious not unconscious you see so you go maybe you're going to go through this kind of like cleansing energy where you really go I feel like I want to purify myself. Maybe I'm going to stop eating junk food and I'm going to stop putting more vegetables, so more salad. Um, I want to eat more high vibrational food. I want to change how I'm thinking. I don't want to be involved with people and have relationships that are bringing me down, that make me feel just really terrible. That's another thing to be very, very careful of. If you're in a relationship or a connection with anybody and they make you feel in a funny way, in any which way, be it love or not love or whatever, you have interaction with this person and then you go home or you're sitting in your house and they just make you feel, yeah, you're just not okay. You're anxious. You are, you, you're uncomfortable. You need, to delete, you need to delete that, okay? Because that will block you from millions in your life. It will block you to an abundance like you have never seen. People can be a ma massive blockage to money. You need to be very, very careful. Because when they're making you feel very uncomfortable and not okay, it's a sign that they're pulling energy out of you. And that's why you feel uncomfortable. Because you had energy siphoned out of you like a vampire sucks your blood. Um, that's exactly what is happening. When you feel uncomfortable after interacting with a person, know that they have just drained you. And they are using your power to create their own life. That's why they do these things. That's why people play games with us. They don't know that they're doing it, but everybody is a spiritual being in one way or another. And they know it's working for them or they wouldn't be doing it. So be very, very careful. So I feel like you may really walk away from a lot here because you want to be the manifester. And you don't want to be giving your power to other people so that they can be the manifester. And you got what? nothing no 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 no. we don't allow that we chop it chop it out we chop that out of our life because i see your energy completely changing and this is coming from a fact that something you're walking away from here connections that you are cutting completely off cords that you are cutting here and it's because you want this you want it good for you go for it what this is going to do for you is adjust your energy and basically whenever you start saying to yourself what do i need to walk away from what is not working for me? Um, maybe it's a thought process. Maybe it's um, what I'm holding on to that I should release. Maybe it's clutter. Maybe it's eating. Maybe it's people. It can be different for everybody, you know. Once you do that, something happens inside of you. And what happens inside of you, you the vibration that you are vibrating at changes this a little bit. And that is when you see the changes happening on the outside of you. When you can change the vibration on the inside of you by being careful what you're doing in your world, who has access to you, what is what does this thing make me feel? So maybe um, you stay up all night until 3 o'clock in the morning and then you have to wake up at 6 in the morning to go to school or go to work or go do whatever you need to do. 
How does that make you feel? Are you feeling great throughout your day or are you feeling in a very low, tired energy? That will definitely block your abundance. And um, I feel as if those things you're going to walk away from because you got this Leo energy coming in here literally twice in your reading. And I feel like you're going to find some energy inside of you like you have not felt before. So you may even during the month of April get this boost of energy. But it starts because you decide to change something. And when you've changed that, it causes this shift. That's the catalyst right there. But you begin the ball rolling, okay? And it leads to this Ten of Fire, which is like literally Ten of Wands tied to the Six of Swords. Beautiful, beautiful energy. The Ten of Wands is you letting go of that. It is you letting go of that. It is you releasing it now. And you're moving truly into a new cycle. Remember, a 10 is an ending of a cycle. It's an ending. So here's your 10. The ending of a cycle. The first light is right there. Beautiful. And it's interesting that we're having a solar eclipse, you know. So the, so the sun will go dark. It's almost like the in-between time, you know. In the middle of the day, it's going dark. And then boom, first light, the new beginning. Beautiful. Man, you're reading. Beautiful. What comes in for you? Wow, where do I even begin? There's more money than I think you can dream. Um, more more than you've ever had. Oh, my heart. Mm. Yeah. Dream bigger because this is more money than you've ever had. This is more than you've ever had. You're starting off with the Nine of Pentacles. That's when you step into this power. That's when you're here realization there's the moment you stepped into this power and you now are no longer this any longer just accept this okay understand you are no more this person you are not this any longer remove the lack and the fear out of you and remain open in your energy knowing that you are becoming no matter what you see in current time no matter the pause that you are currently in you are becoming the nine of pentacles which is a person that does not have lack a person that can pay every bill that is responsible in their life to be able to handle anything that comes up and flourish power strength right there but there's more <laughs> guys why are you reading there is more because the 9 goes to the 10. And the 10 is what you're not thinking about currently right now. This is better than your current dream. That is why you need to dream bigger. Because where you can go from here is even beyond what you're currently thinking about. So open up your mind. Open yourself up to what this universe can give you. It is unlimited. It is unlimited where you can go. It is unlimited, but it's money like you've never had before. The Ten of Pentacles moves to the Queen of Pentacles. Now you must understand, the Nine of Pentacles, that's a powerful person, very strong. But the Queen of Pentacles is stronger than the Nine of Pentacles. More money than the, nine of, than the Ten of Pentacles. You understand, you, you're leveling up. You literally got the Nine, the Ten, the queen and the king. You are leveling up into the kind of money that you have never seen before. And I think that you are not currently imagining in your life. And that's why you got to dream bigger. Go through the glass ceiling that you feel like is where you can achieve and go bigger. Dream bigger. And you don't even you need to know how, when, where, how is this going to happen? It will be revealed to you. As long as you say, I am the king of pentacles, male or female energy. The king of pentacles, very powerful person. And aligned with a strength card like this, next level. You could be a multi-millionaire business owner, several businesses with this kind of energy. You could be owning many houses. For some of you guys, you might, I just got this vibe of, because I've got a ten of pentacles, um, together with the king and the strength card. For some of you guys, you may even own property, which is like very lucrative. Do not own property. I'm just going to tell you something that I know with regards to business. Um, 
do not own retail property. If you're going to invest into property, own property where people need to live. Okay, because retail property is kind of falling away. I don't know if you notice, like in certain areas, you'll see a lot of stores kind of like just standing empty. People are doing everything online. So everything is going online. You go onto Instagram, you go buy online. You go onto Amazon, you're buying online. You understand things are going digital. So don't invest into retail property like offices and all those things. People are working from home now. And um, it's going to go more and more into that as we move forward. Really a change of how we live and it's coming in here. But people always need somewhere to live. So if you're going to invest into something, invest into a uh, um, residential property. It is going to always be growing, always be strong. And I literally rent out to people. I'm telling you, there is massive massive money there i do plan to do that myself with regards to the home that i'm currently living in so yeah that is big big money and i don't know why it popped in but it popped in for you aries and if there is one person in this world who can manage and do something like that it would be you it would be you so there is an opportunity so for somebody out there if you're thinking along that line i've just confirmed it for you but there we go An unbelievable reading literally the king and queen of pentacles dream bigger um, than what you're ever thinking about now because you're going to see yourself over the next two years stepping into the kind of abundance and the kind of life maybe that you're not even thinking about currently right now you want to align with it now because truly whatever you do think about in this moment is coming in so if you're going to think about Deborah I want the nine of pentacles you will get the nine of pentacles but if you're sitting there going no debs i think i would like to have the king of pentacles thank you very much then you will get the king of pentacles so for me i'd rather go big or go home you know what i mean go big because what's going to align with you what events that are going to be unfolding with for you over the next couple of months to a year or so you're going to see you're going to see this is absolutely wonderful energy so much abundance flowing towards you i am thrilled we are taking back our power and this is how it should be done thank you so much for watching and i'm sending these absolutely abundant blessings in your direction and so it is